Hi. Today we will see how to fix Windows PowerShell immediate close or unusual stop. So let's see the problem actually is. When you try to open Windows PowerShell it immediate close or stuck. Even if we try to open PowerShell using terminal it makes no sense and shows us a error code something like that or that so let's see how to solve this problem our first method is to simply restart the device most of the time this problem is due to background services not running properly so just simply restart your device and check this problem is solved or not our second method is to check the antivirus program sometimes powershell blocked by antivirus program if so in that case you need to unblock powershell from firewall or coin time then check if the problem is solved or not it's a common problem so check your antivirus our third method is try to restore the windows health open cmd as admin and type this command sfc scan now and hit enter wait until finished applying this command will fix any internal windows problem automatically so if you try this command uh, for other case you can see the result as you can see windows system scan restore windows health and it did not find any integrative violation so if any integrative violation happened it this system scan will automatically fix all of the problem our fourth method is updating terminal or powershell related program from windows store so open windows store open and go to the library or if you are using the old version you can see this option here so let's check as you can see our terminal windows terminal need to be updated or the latest version available so click update it needs some time to download and install windows terminal has been updated uh, let's check if the issue is solved or not this is our final step in this step we will install powershell as a normal software you will find this link in the description from here you will need to download the software packages or msi packages 
according to your system so I will download the MSI package for my system I'm using 64 bit so download and it needs some time to download wait until finish this download so so our file is downloaded let's open this setup setup is as usual I keep the default configuration so press next let's install it will take some time to install you can check this option launch powershell and press finish and enjoy your powershell hope your problem is solved thanks for watching stay updated